National Weather Association. Weather from where you live. Well, we've had a severe weather outbreak from Ontario all the way to Iowa this evening, and the watches are lined up from just to the southwest of Toronto all the way back to near Des Moines, Iowa. And really throughout the evening, most of this has been moving east, very slightly southeast, but I have noticed here in about the past hour and a half, this supercell is kind of dropping south-southeast, and some of these bows right here that are producing damaging winds starting to sink a little farther southeast. So I think for the overnight hours, we got to watch this very closely because I've seen lines of storms like this before. They look like they're going to go due east, and if they develop a cold pool behind them, what will happen, the line will actually start to sink and bow out, and sometimes they can even do a little bit of a right turn. So we're going to watch it. Uh, throughout the overnight, if that would happen, the potential for at least, uh, at least some sporadic damaging wind would affect us uh, later on tonight. And then tomorrow, with this uh, little disturbance coming into Nebraska, this could ignite another round of storms late in the day. It is the most oppressive night we've seen all season. And this is the first time since I got here in Lafayette last year that every weather station at 11 p.m. has been above 80 degrees, at least at or above 80. It's still 82 in Logansport and Monticello, 83 in Rensselaer, 81 in Fowler, and 81 in Lafayette. And, you know, most of these weather stations are out in rural areas uh, or some of our high schools, and there's not much concrete around them. So you can imagine what it's like with all the concrete around in a city tonight. Feels like 88 still in Lafayette. Feels like 94 at Rensselaer. And it still feels like 90 at Crawfordsville. And anytime you get a dew point above 65, it's humid. Dew points tonight, mid to upper 70s, even pushing 80 at Rensselaer. Very tropical night. After a potential, some storms overnight tonight. Tomorrow, we're still going to have this tropical humidity around, but the temperature will be in the mid-90s. So it will be dangerously hot tomorrow. Heat index as high as 106 here at Rochester to 109 is what it'll feel like at peak heating in Crawfordsville. A couple of you may even feel like 110 down here along the I-74 corridor. So we'll watch that line to the north overnight. Again, some uncertainty about it. Future cast doesn't bring anything in here overnight, but I'm still going to keep a close eye on it. And then tomorrow, with all that tremendous heating, we're going to watch a line of storms potentially affect us towards evening with a potential severe weather, dam uh, damaging winds would be the main threat with that, and the potential severe weather does exist on Saturday. So, a potential some scattered showers and storms tonight, only down to 75, very hot tomorrow, storms late in the day. Again, the heat index at dangerous levels, heat advisory area-wide, likely heat advisory on Saturday, severe weather late in the day, and then finally, less humid Sunday into Monday, but more storms later next week, complements of moisture from a newly uh, formed tropical storm in the uh, Caribbean. And that lower heat and humidity will be welcome. Oh, yeah. Anything.